With just a few days to go until polls open for presidential election, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and presidential candidate of Republican Party Donald Trump are ramping up their efforts to secure votes in the battleground. DD India correspondent Amrit Pal Singh has the overall input coming from Houston, Texas. Donald Trump is increasingly unhinged and unstable. Kamala Harris once again calling out Donald Trump for becoming increasingly deranged. She held her first joint campaign rally with Barack Obama and Bruce Springsteen in Atlanta. Donald Trump has called her a threat to democracy. She's a threat to democracy because she shouldn't even be the candidate. The political narrative as sharply divided as the American society polarized. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one, one issue, and it's to get rid of Donald Trump. Um, I feel he is the most destructive force on this planet at this time. Giving him the nuclear codes would be the biggest mistake U.S. ever made. She's not answered a single question. In fact, she runs from every question she's ever asked. So you know, she'd be terrible. How, how could she stand up against Putin if she can't even stand up against a, a, a reporter that's on her side? The key issue to me is ensuring that Donald Trump not take office. I am extremely concerned about his fascist tendencies, and I think we have to do everything we can as a nation to uphold democracy and defeat him. While American society may seem divided right from the middle this time around, most American states have traditionally voted on predicted lines. The terms red state and blue state refer to U.S. states whose voters vote predominantly for one party, the Republican Party in the red states and the Democratic Party in blue states, in presidential and other statewide elections. By contrast, states where the vote fluctuates between Democratic and Republican candidates are known as swing states or purple states. In these elections, there are seven states that are swing or battleground states, which includes the states of Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. And understandably, both candidates are focusing their energies campaigning in these states, making a last lap bid to woo the undecided voter. But is it cutting ice with them? What are they going to do for the people when they get into office? All the claims that they make, I want to make sure that they come through with the claims. You know, Trump says they can do X, Y, Z, and doesn't do nothing. Well, I'm not too sure about when I'm going to decide, but everything's too expensive. Then there is the issue that is America ready for a woman president and a colored one at that. If there's any time that a woman's going to take over the White House and represent us worldwide, it's now. While issues like cost of living, economy, jobs, women rights, abortion, etc. do matter to people. But it's often seen that on the voting day, most Americans cast their vote based on partisan loyalties. And that is why you see the states that have been red or blue continue to remain so. In such a scenario, when the uh, race is so tight, it is really the undecided voter, especially the purple states which could swing either way, that could decide who will sit in the Oval Office for the next four years. With cameraman Sanjay Jena, this is Amrit Pal Singh for DD India in Houston, Texas.